This is WBKO News at 6. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Gene Burke. And I'm Allie Hennard. The annual WLOC Radio Clothes for Kids fundraiser is now in its 25th year. And organizers hope the nonprofit will reach half a million dollars for the first time. WBKO's Derek Parham joined the cookout today to tell us more. Dwayne Forbes founded the fundraiser in 1998 and has been working since then to grow clothes for kids into the event that it is today. In 1998, uh, it was not organized as far as getting the family resource centers involved. My late wife Carol and I went and shopped and delivered these clothes uh, to needy families that needed them. Even from the beginning, Forbes says that he saw the impact the program could have on the community. We've seen a lot of kids cry when we handed the presents through the door knowing that they were close. And it touched us so much that we got all the family resource centers together after the first of the year with Hart County Community Schools and organized the WLOC Clothes for Kids. And then we became a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Forbes hopes that the half a million dollar goal will motivate the community to continue to give back to the kids that need it most. I think it's a milestone for our community, for Hart County and Coverna Schools, to know that people care and they support this organization and they want to see our children have a brighter future. Funds that are raised help the Family Resource Centers to have community funds in case of emergencies. Wilma Bunnell says that she has seen the necessity of these programs firsthand. A recent uh, fire that took place on Christmas Eve and they had three small children. The morning we received that message, we were, we were out shopping, we were making sure those kids had coats, uh, making sure they had shoes and clothing, and uh, making sure that they had some toys and so forth because they had lost everything in their home. Braving the rain and the wind, the Hart County Cookout fundraiser already had hundreds of pre-orders from community members and area schools, all hoping to raise the money to get the area kids the clothes they need. Reporting in Hart County, Derek Parham, WBKO News.